Tell me, Adam, the likely scenario Monday morning this time right now, we're going through the first segment as we always do on Mondays. We recap maybe Ange and Beachview calls. We're doing all that kind of stuff. Is it all right, guys? How do you then is the more likely scenario? The conversation is how do we now trudge from now until the new year and go through these games that are largely don't mean anything? Yeah, that's what's going to happen. I mean, I think they're going to lose to Tampa. I think they're going to put a better product on the field than they did against Buffalo. Mike Tomlin's pretty good at rallying the guys. I think they'll be competitive. It is at home. Tampa hadn't exactly lit the world on fire. But I think it'll probably be a close loss that hurts more because it's a close loss. And then, man, I don't even know what to do in a sports talk radio capacity when the season's done six weeks in. When's the last time that happened? Hmm. Oh, three, they were a bad football team. They've been two and six before under Tom and they come back think, and figured it out. But this team's not capable of I that. I think it's the perfect opportunity to find out if this organization is willing to change I agree. everything they do. Every, when you're one in five, and who knows, again, maybe one in seven going into the bye, and the writing is on the wall that your season is over, and it's all about development, and you haven't been in that spot for... Sorry, let me do the quick math. 35 years or so, it's the perfect opportunity to find out if from the top all the way down, you're willing to t- it literally, as Mike Tomlin said, well, not literally, I guess, turn over all the stones. Have the Steelers been a 